Okay. So we just watched the video of the super experienced professional lady painting a goldfish and making it look so easy. Do y'all see? I mean, she literally was just like floop and her little brush stroke was perfect. It makes me so sad. Okay. But what we're going to do first, and again, we're just basically trying to copy that video right now. Okay. Is just get some black paint on our brush. Where's my lid? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Is just get some black paint made. And we're just going to practice. And I'm probably going to do two or three goldfish per page. I tend to make them fatter than they need to be because that's just what ends up happening. I'm going to say I personally am much better at painting koi than I am at painting goldfish, but you know, it's still something that I need to practice. So I've got my black paint made. And again, we're just doing a little circle lips and an eye. So if you have a tiny, tiny paintbrush, you might want to take the time to use it just to do this one little section, okay? But this is it, all right? We're gonna start. I've got my paint made. I know my projector is going out, in and out, okay? We're gonna start by painting a little circle. Okay, then we're gonna come into that circle and give it a little black dot on the inside for the eye. Okay. And then <laughs> somehow we're gonna come in with the tip of our brush and do a little tiny dagger stroke and make a top lip and then underneath it, do another little tiny dagger stroke and get a bottom lip. Okay, and for some reason, my, my screen is looking very pixelated today, which is very frustrating. But, and if you try it with one brush and you don't like how it looks, you know, switch it out. I'm gonna try it with this brush and see if I like it better. Then I'm gonna try it with this brush and see which one I like the best. So this is just a watercolor brush. Again, the first, like, probably the first five or 10 fish you make are going to be ugly. Don't stress yourself out about it. Okay. This is a learning process. And when you're learning to do something, it's not going to look perfect the first time, right? It, if, you, if it does, then you're very lucky. But most people, it doesn't. So you know, I'm going to try it with this watercolor brush and see if I like it better or worse. Okay, I'm gonna do my little circle. Definitely my circle's fatter now. And I'm gonna put my little dot for the eye. Then I'm gonna do swoosh. And all that is, is a little dagger stroke. Okay, I'll do one more over here. But actually I'm gonna do it on another piece of paper because I do wanna give myself room to put the pretty little fins on the fish. Okay, so. Circle, dot for the eye, dagger stroke, dagger stroke. So now I'm giving myself three different fish to practice on. Capiche? All right, so we're gonna pause the recording real quick. All right, so the next step is we gotta get our brush loaded, okay? So we're gonna start with yellow first because it's a goldfish, so we wanna use goldfish colors, all right? So I'm gonna load my whole brush with yellow. Gotta dip it into the water to kind of activate the yellow. Hopefully y'all are kind of sort of doing this along with me. If you already have your brush loaded, then, and you've watched the other video and you know what's coming next and you wanna start, you can. So I'm getting my brush really loaded with as much yellow as I can. Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, then I'm gonna do the middle of my brush orange. So I'm pressing down, but I'm not pressing down all the way. So hopefully y'all can see, I've got orange and yellow on my brush. And then I'm gonna get the red wet with another brush. Oh man, that brush was dirty, that's okay though just getting the red kind of started, okay? And then I'll do just the tip of my brush in red. Just the tip. Yellow, Yellow, then orange, then red. Think about like fire. So yellow first, then orange in the middle, then red on the tip. 
So, well, you got a bamboo brush today, so try it. It might be different. And if I go like this, y'all can see all three colors. Y'all see that? The key is, is when you're mixing it, when I was mixing the yellow, I was holding my brush to the side like this. But when I'm adding the orange and the red, I have to hold my brush vertically like this so that the red only gets on the tip. If I press my brush down, then the red is gonna get up on the brush and I'm trying to control it so the red is only on the tip, All right? So once my brush is loaded, okay, and I'm gonna try this on all three of my little fish faces that I made. Okay, I may even try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, she put a little flick. I hate this brush, I should have got it in a different one. She put a little flick around the eye. Okay, then she came in and laid her brush down and kind of did like a swoosh like that. Then she laid her brush down again and did another swoosh going the other direction, trying to get it to look a little bit like a heart. Okay, my brush is too dry. Crap. So I'm reloading the orange right now. Then I'm gonna reload the red. Okay, I'm gonna try it again on my other one. I'm gonna do a little swoosh right here under the eye. Then I'm gonna put the tip of the red brush down and slide it down. So I'm trying to get that rainbow effect. This brush I don't like, but again, it's okay. Then I'm gonna lay the brush down the other way on the bottom and go up again, trying to get that little heart shape. Y'all can see even mine is not perfect. Goldfish are not Miss Walker's forte, okay? I'm gonna wash this brush out. Try it again with my other white brush and see which one I like better. Yes, I can. Give me just a second. Am I recording? I thought I was recording. I don't even know. Yes, I am. You are, it's recording. Okay, there we go. All right, Jariah asked if I could send the link to the video in the chat, so I just did, okay. All right, so again, loading the brush. Ooh, that brush was hard, so I've got to wash it out. And it was also dirty. I guess I didn't wash it out all the way yesterday when I was using it. Y'all are gonna find, most of y'all are probably gonna like koi fish better than goldfish, but it's okay. We're just practicing right now. So, oh, there's like, I'm gonna pause the recording, hold on. Y'all need, okay, let's try this again, okay? I washed my brush out with soap, which I think is gonna make it be a little better quality for me. Okay, starting by loading my brush with just yellow paint, okay? So what in the world is happening with y'all signing in and out on Zoom today? Okay, I'm loading my brush with just yellow paint. So you'll see I'm really taking the time to push my brush all the way down into that paint, okay? And get it really fully loaded all the way up, stirring it in and making sure I've got a lot of yellow paint, okay? All over my brush. Then once my brush is totally coated in yellow paint, I'm dipping it into the orange, but now I can't press down that hard. I'm trying to get the orange to kind of only go onto the bottom part of the brush. So I'm brushing the brush, but I'm holding it a little bit clean, um, a little bit, I'm not pressing down as hard. So see how the orange is only getting onto the bottom of the brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my pan to help the paint pick up. Okay. And again, I'm only getting the orange on the middle and bottom part of the brush. Like so. So the top of the brush has yellow. 
and the middle and bottom part of the brush has orange. Okay. And then I only do just the very tip and red. I'm trying a different brush to see if I like how it looks better, but it might just be that today Miss Walker is having bad goldfish look. <laughs> and that's okay too. So again, like in the video, I do a little swoosh right there around the eye. Then I come in and I go one and two. Definitely like that brush better. Then she kind of comes back in and adds another little swoosh at the top and then a flick at the bottom for the, whatever you wanna call that, the body of the fish. You know, I'm gonna be like, wow, Miss Walker, you should never make goldfish. So I always make my goldfish too fat, <laughs> in case y'all can't tell, okay? And then I'll dip back into the red and kind of put that there. And then she just kind of does a little flicking motion for the bottom fins. Remember when we did thin line, push down, thick line like that? It's the same concept, thin line, push down, thick line, except you're letting it curve. So it's almost like an S curve except you're taking that S and you're kind of flattening it out a little bit. Do y'all see that? So I do thin line, press down, thin line. And I do the same thing in the other direction, thin line, press down, thin line. And those kind of give me my bottom fins. And then I do the same thing up here for my top thin fins. I'm running out of room there. I'll try it up here and see if I can get it any better. I'm putting a little bit more orange on my brush in the middle, and then a little bit more red on the tip. Anybody gotten one that's kind of decent? I got one. <laughs> Look how fat this one is at the top. It's so funny. <laughs> then I'm going to come in and do thin, thick, thin, thin, thick, thin, thin, thick, thin. So I kind of gave them some upper scales. Some of my kids like to come in and do little, like, little scales right here to give it some like texture. Some of my kids will do that like in black. I'm gonna show you all little things you can do to add decorations. And then now the fun part is the tail, which is something you might wanna practice. Okay, it's another combination of that thin line, thick line, thin line concept. Okay, but you've gotta let it curve up and down. So I'm gonna just reload my brush to make sure I've got you know, good paint. Okay. So I'm going to reload with yellow. I'm trying to watch the clock because it's already 902. Does anyone want to come to tutoring tomorrow? I can help you while we're recording. I can help you upload your triptych if you need help uploading your triptych, or I can work with you on Chinese brush strokes if you need extra help with Chinese brush strokes. Anyone want to come to tutoring tomorrow? <laughs> Tariq says my goldfish suck. I mean, Tariq, look at mine. They're not great either. <laughs> this is challenging, okay? But I'm just trying to show y'all different techniques and ways. So when y'all turn these in for classwork, I'm not expecting them to look like masterpieces. I'm just trying to see that you're trying something new, that you were willing to try something new. Y'all understand? That's all I'm looking for. 
All right, so we're gonna take that concept right there. <laughs> Mine looks discombobulated. <laughs> That's okay. All right, here we go. Start with a thin line and swoosh up and go to a thin line, then go, or a thick line, then go back to a thin. Then you kind of do the same thing, except this time you swoosh down. And then in the middle, you just kind of add your little tail. So there's one that's kind of decent. I'll try another one and see if I can get it to look better. So that one looks worse, but that's okay. What am I doing? <laughs> Who knows? There, it's a little better. Adding those swooshes. Some of my kids, they get so good at this, but they'll watch her video like 10 times and just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. And they get so into it. They're like, look, Miss Walker, look at my goldfish. And they're like, super impressive. So I'm doing the, the tails in different directions. So y'all can kind of sort of see how different tails look. So of my three, I think the top one, I don't know, they're all pretty ugly. <laughs> um, you know, I definitely paint personally. Um, I've spent a lot more time practicing flowers and birds than I have fish, but a goldfish is like one of the most traditional, um, what's it's called? One of the most traditional, um, God, I can't speak English. Uh, sumi -e paintings. So that's why I wanted you guys to at least try it. Okay. I think most of y'all will probably find the koi fish easier, but m some of my kids, they really like it. Some optional stuff you can do, and I'll play the rest of the video for y'all in just a second. But some of my kids like to come back and just kind of give their fish a little bit of extra form with black. And they'll come back with the black and they'll kind of add like is someone at the door? Why is someone at the door? Oh, crap. We have a fire drill today. Yeah, I want you to get the door, I guess. I don't know who's there, but make sure it's someone. It's If it's an adult, make sure they have a badge. It's a student. You can let them in. As long as they don't look threatening. They'll like add little dots like this for like decoration. What's up? Okay, you're interrupting my, hold on. I didn't know you were gonna come in the middle of class. Okay, sorry, I had a kid come in, but they'll come in and do like little dots like that, or they'll come in with the black and kind of do little outlines like this to make their fish kind of have a little bit more of a, like a shape. Okay, and none of this is something that you have to do, but some of my students like to do things like that. Okay, um, you know, or they'll come in and they'll like connect under the mouth and connect over the head, just different little things. Okay, if you wanna do that with black or if you wanna come back and do that with red or yellow or whatever else, okay. All three of my fish are questionable. <laughs> Would I turn any of them in? I don't know. I mean, again, this is kind of, notice I had you guys put these in the classwork folder and not in the sketchbooks or projects folder. So I'm really just giving you a participation grade for trying, do y'all understand? Okay, so I'm not like grading these on you having like perfect sumi -e brush strokes. I'm just trying to see you tried to do it. Capiche? <laughs> 